What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to talk about how to set up costing using costing quick setup. It's a whole bunch of tasks that get completed in just about under a minute by using this feature. So let's get after it. Right, so here's what you get in one go. You get a cost organization, a cost book, a cost relationship, cost element, cost component, cost component mapping, cost valuation structure, cost profile, and cost organization all in one go. All right, first thing we're going to do is going to go over to manufacturing. And then we're gonna go down the page and we're gonna find the quick setup for cost. And we're gonna go in there and I'm basically gonna show you that the profit center business unit is not available. And I'm gonna show you why and how to resolve it. Because if you come in here and you don't find your profit center business unit, you can't proceed. All right, let's go back over to the inventory org that we had set up. And we're going to check. So let's find the inventory org. And we're going to check whether or not the profit center business unit is assigned. See it right there? Now we should be able to select it. And if we can't select it, there's a reason for that. We can't select it here because it's not available, which is what I wanted to show you. Can't find it. All right. So let's go back even further, all the way back to the business unit functions, and we'll find out what's going on simply a checkbox. This box must be checked so that it's a profit center business unit. Once you select it, you're good. We'll go back to the inventory org, go find our org and edit. And then we're going to right there. You'll see it. Boom. Ready to go. Save it, close it, close again. And now we'll go back to the costing quick setup and we'll kick off the process. Now we'll go and search up our profit center business unit. In this case, it's the super university. Okay. And you'll notice down below under the setup task, there's nothing there. And then this one shows not implemented. So now let's give the cost organization code. Okay, and another so there we go. And now the cost method, I'm gonna make it perpetual, perpetual average. And we just say implement. And then it'll churn for a few moments. And it'll say it's been done. And so you'll see it shows now as implemented. And we'll go over here and all of these tasks, every one of these tasks that you would have had to done individually have been done for you. Okay. So let's close out of that. And now let's do some spot checks. Here we'll look at the cost organization. See, set up. All editable if needed. And then we'll take a look at the cost book. Search it up. There it is. So it's all completely set up and ready for costing. So now let's take a look at the Oracle documentation, you can see where this is at, getting started with your supply chain, and just go down and find cost, setting up cost accounting using quick setup. And there's a whole documentation here. I'll include the link in the description below. And you can see of all the different tasks that get completed by using this feature. This would take much, much more time. You can see that we pretty much can do it. If everything's in place, we can have costing set up in just about under a minute. It's really important to work smarter and not harder and using tools like this just make that all happen. So that's going to do it for this one, folks. If you found the information useful, why not consider using the subscribe button like a bookmark so you can have easy access to the information without having to search for it when you need it. I really hope you enjoyed your visit today and I will catch you in the next one.